All right, so you're gonna need three sheets of paper. Um, if this is teacher instructions, then I would pre-cut these using a paper cutter to, since this is an eight and a half by 11, I would do eight and a half and then measure eight and a half and cut a bunch of sheets out. Um, students are gonna need three each. If you're a student and you're doing this, my suggestion to cut it is to take the corner and fold it as a large triangle because it's gonna be your first step in the folding steps. And then you're gonna cut off the excess here. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut off the excess. I of just one of them because I have other ones already folded for the sake of the video. All right. So again, three sheets of paper. You're gonna need three squares that are eight and a half by eight and a half. If you have the squares already, you're gonna start off by folding it in half as a triangle. And you, in order for it to fold really nicely at the end, you wanna make sure that you have really uh, like sharp um, creases. So I'm gonna use my nail to make it really sharp. And then I'm gonna open it and fold it in the other direction this way, right? So then when you fold it, it folds nicely both ways. So I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna make this really, really sharp, a uh, really sharp crease as well. So now it doesn't have really any resistance going in either direction. It's a pretty easy fold no matter what way I go, okay? So one diagonal. After that, I'm gonna fold it in half as a rectangle, so in a median. I'm gonna fold it in half this way and do the same thing as before, really sharp crease, really sharp crease, and then go open it and fold it in the other direction and make that really, really sharp really sharp crease. So, so far you should have one diagonal and then one medium like this. And then I'm gonna fold it in the other median so that you end up with four squares. Okay, so, and one more time, same thing. You want really sharp creases. So I'm gonna go in both directions. So this is your completed, completely folded. You have four squares and then two of them have um, triangles because you have the one diagonal. Okay, so the two and then the diagonal. So now to fold this into a square, I'm gonna do it this way. Um, you have the um, square that doesn't have the triangles in it and you wanna fold the triangles inward. If you did a good job folding, there shouldn't be any resistance. They'll just fold right into each other so then the top just flops in like this, okay? So that's what you wanna do and you wanna make three of them, okay? So I have three right here. Okay, so you wanna make three exactly the same and now we're gonna glue them together. So to glue them, notice how this one opens up. I'm gonna take the other one so that it opens in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna take the top of this one and I'm gonna glue it to the bottom of this one. So put one inside of the other, so this one goes into this one like that okay so i'm gonna open it so that you see <laughs> sorry for the video so that you see when you glue it you want this one is folding in and then the one on the top is folding down okay so i'm gonna do this quickly just so that, oh my god i can't open the glue stick <laughs> so i'm just gonna put a little bit of glue you should put a lot of glue though but just for the sake of the video you should glue it really nicely okay so now that one's glued to that one so now when you fold it this one folds in and then this one folds out okay so now to glue the third one you're going to do the same exact procedure this one's opening so we're going to take this one the third one and i'm going to put it in side like that okay so once again this one's opening in now and that one's opening back and that's all you want notice how I'll show the finished product at the end. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue. Again, for the sake of the video. So this is the finished product. You have one that's opening to the back, the other one that's opening in, and then the last one that's opening to the back. You want them to alternate directions so that then you can close it all on itself. Like this. And it opens. 
It's gonna fall apart because I don't put enough glue. Open. Yay. And it closes. <laughs>